AI, AI, AI. AI is everywhere. And today I have a truly AI device, which is this particular device. The Google Pixel 9a, a truly amazing AI device. Why do I say this? Well, the answer is you will have a lot of devices that have or that claim to have good AI, but this is the OG device that carries some amazing AI features. So this video is a deep dive into the amazing AI features that Google Pixel has. So let's firstly start by unboxing the device and then we'll go over every single AI feature that exists in this amazing device. Let's start. This is a device that I've received from Google. So Google noticed a lot of AI content that I create, which is where they decided to share this amazing device with me. The variant that I've received is the iris color. The packaging looks very sleek. And here is the device in its full glory. Let me peel open the cover as well. And this is the device. Looks amazing, isn't it? What you also get inside the box is a SIM ejector tool, some paperwork and also Type-C to Type-C cable. The Google Pixel 9a offers flagship features in a mid-range package. Here are the main specifications of the device. It's powered by the Google Tensor G4 chipset with Titan M2 security coprocessor paired along with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage. You don't have to worry about security updates because it runs with Android 15 with 7 years of OS updates. If it's a Pixel device, how could you not talk about the camera? It is powered by a 48 megapixel main sensor. There's a 13 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And then there is also a 13 megapixel front camera as well. The reason why this is such an amazing AI device is with all the processing power, it also has increased battery capacity. So it has a 5100 mAh battery. Let's start with some camera samples. This is the first image through the primary camera. This image is taken from the ultra wide lens. This is 1x from the primary camera. This is 2x from the primary camera. And this is 8x from the primary camera with digital zoom. If you have an eye for it, you will appreciate the kind of amazing results it is giving at 8x as well. These are some macro shots. So this is the first shot. This is created using the macro focus mode. And this is the second shot. Let's talk about Gemini on Pixel devices. Currently, there are multiple models that are available on Gemini. You have 2.0 flash, 2.5 experimental, which is a reasoning model. Then you have 2.5 pro, which is again a reasoning model, but with better capabilities. Then there is a model that I use very effectively and very often, which is deep research. And then if you want to have personalized responses based on your user interaction, then you can try out the personalization model as well. Let me now give you a small demo of Gemini models on Pixel devices. In your Pixel device, all you have to do is click on Gemini. And there are multiple models that you can select from. So I'll currently select the base model itself. And I'll ask about myself. I want to understand if Gemini is able to recognize me or not. And here is the amazing response that it has generated. Now the good part about Gemini is that it gives you sources as well. You can be sure of what part of the response has not been generated, but actually picked up from a credible source. So I can double check the response. And all the sections that are marked in green are the ones that Gemini has validated that it has extracted from a valid source. Amazing, isn't it? Gemini is multimodal. It can also accept and answer questions around the images that you upload. So imagine if I upload an image and if I ask, what do you see in this particular image? Then this is the response that Gemini gives me. Now, if I ask a follow up question, Gemini retains context and then generates a further response. 
I want to learn more about model context protocol or MCP. It is here that I'll use Gemini's deep research model. Now what does it do? Well, Gemini's deep research model browses up to hundreds of websites to generate a comprehensive, easy to read report with key findings organized with links to original sources so you can learn even more. So it's not generating responses out of the blue, it is referring to multiple sources and then generating a response. So this what you see here is the output of the deep research model for model context protocol. Amazing isn't it? Like just one input, it's gone through multiple links and it has given me everything that I should know about model context protocol in the simplest language possible. You can also generate amazing images using Gemini. If I input a prompt, create an image of a man in front of the Eiffel Tower. This is the response that it generates and if you look at the quality of the image, it's amazing. You can talk to Gemini models using Gemini Live. Let's see a live demo. What are the major tourist places in Kathmandu, Nepal? Kathmandu has a rich history and culture, so there are many places to visit. Some of the major attractions include the Pashupatinath Temple, a sacred Hindu temple on the banks of the Bagmati River, and the Bodhanath Stupa, one of the largest spherical stupas in Nepal. Would you like to hear about more places? Since we are speaking about audio, Pixel devices have this amazing application called as Audio Magic Eraser, where not only can you reduce distracting sounds, but now you can kind of raise sounds that you want to hear more clearly. So here is a video which is before Audio Magic Eraser and, and after Audio Magic Eraser. I am recording this video from the Google Pixel 9a. As it's very evident from the audio that you are hearing, there is good amount of ambient noise. So this is something that I wanted to create so that you kind of experience the audio as well. I am recording this video from the Google Pixel 9a. As it's very evident from the audio that you are hearing, there is good amount of ambient noise. So this is something that I wanted to create so that you kind of experience the audio as well. Imagine I have this particular photograph. Now there is a new feature in Magic Editor where you can reimagine the entire photo itself. And in the reimagine prompt, I say reimagine this as Taj Mahal. And once it's ready, it's entirely reimagined the scene for me. How cool is this? A lot of times in the image, we are not in the right frame. It is here that auto frame in Magic Editor helps us out. Auto frame in Magic Editor has been trained on known photographic techniques to make sure that we emphasize on the subject. So when I run auto frame on this entire image, what it will do is it will kind of give me different frames Sometimes if it has to generate pixels so that it takes a wide angle shot, it is capable enough of doing that as well. So these are some of the images generated using different framing techniques. One of the other AI features which is really popular is circle to search. Now a lot of you might be wondering which Google office am I standing in front of? Well all I do is I take this particular image, I draw a circle. And now I'm able to reach at the point that this image is from Google's Gurgaon office because a lot of people have posted similar images online. One app that is exclusive to the Google Pixel lineup is the Pixel Studio app. So let me go forward and firstly generate an image of a man standing in front of Burj Khalifa. So this is how amazing the results are generated. Next up, if I try to generate an image of a robot eating noodles in front of Burj Khalifa, this is the quality of images that are generated. Like, it's exceptional quality, a model running locally along with some amount of data required for optimizing the image generation process. One unique feature and this is something that I always wanted to try out but I didn't have like a big setup but all of that is not required. I wanted to clone myself in an image without requiring anyone's help which is something that I've been able to achieve using the add me feature of the Google Pixel devices. This is an amazing AI feature that all of you should check out if you happen to own a Pixel device. Well there you have it. 
this is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the AI capabilities of Google Pixel 9a. It's an amazing AI device and AI is kind of seamlessly integrated into this entire device. So if you are in the market looking out for stock Android, an amazing camera, a device with exceptional battery life and a device which has really helpful AI features, then this amazing device is what you should kind of target and you should buy this device. Thank you so much for watching the video.